Hi guys, Stu Davison here with this week's market update from NZX Dairy Team. Right, we'll keep this one brief as well. Uh, GDT week and a few other weather chats and Fonterra's uh, consultation about capital structure. Uh, GDT 283, uh, I'm sure we've all caught up with this, but let's run through this. But a price is mounted at this uh, auction down 12.1%, so a bit of a doozy of a hit to butter prices. However, we did see more volume come onto this auction of butter, uh, along with more volume on the last auction and that, uh, more volume for the forecast too. So unsurprisingly, more volume uh, added to the platform. Prices dropped as a result, um, unsurprising. However, we have actually seen more butter being sold. China or North Asia as a region increased buying by 90% on a volume basis compared to the previous auction. So the demand from markets there, they just weren't willing to pay the price. Uh, where we see this price drop. So as you can see on the graph on the left there, average price has dropped by $701 per tonne compared to the previous price. AMF dropped 4.5%, skim milk powder lifted 2% on average, whole milk powder lifted 0.7%, the index dropped 0.7% on the back of this. So reasonably solid, slow decline over time, but uh, on the index price there, but nothing too bad. The graph on the right, uh, GDT buying by North Asia for whole milk powder, you can see they're well above where they were last year on average and um, still ticking away quite strongly. Big one at the moment, weather chat, everyone loves weather chat. Uh, the South Island of the East Coast and Southland, uh, very, very dry at the moment, problematic. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few maps there to really run that through. So the dairy pasture growth or the PGI from NZX showing uh, pasture growth last fortnight and the fortnight ahead as a forecast are not looking good for the East Coast and Southland. Um, some of the top right graph there is the New Zealand Drought Watch from NIWA. And that's showing you some pretty hard, sorry, pretty hard hit dry areas. Uh, not good for grass growth. Southland um, really feeling it, which is usually quite wet at this time of year. Uh, disappointing, but um, this this will play a factor into things going forward. Canterbury farmers aren't too affected at the moment under irrigation. However, the problem is actually dry land farmers with uh, crops and winter crops probably struggling at the moment. Soil moisture deficit map there at the moment, telling the truth, unfortunately and uh, well well ahead of last year and well ahead of the 30 year average. Com you know, contrast that with the North Island. On the whole, obviously regionality is key in the North Island, but on the whole, the North Island is looking really good. The graph there in the middle is our, uh, the NZX pasture growth index, or we call the PGI. Um, it's a leading indicator of milk production in New Zealand. And uh, this one's shown, you know, late April uh, growth was, was lower than last year, but in the middle there, not too bad. The kicker here is, is April's milk production we see on the, on the left there, the milk production in March really kicked off. You can see that, that peak of, of, of highlighted there for you. And that's actually a three week indicator or four week, depending on the round length of, of dairy farms at the time of the year. So that tells us that grass growth is gonna impact milk production. And we've seen that too with Fonterra's milk collection data, well and truly up for the month of April compared to April, 2020. Uh, between 18 and 20, 50% uh, for a few regions in um, the lower Waikato. So massive milk collection increases, those are big figures. So we'll see that come through in Zcan's data as we saw with March production, but we'll see that later this month. Uh, the PGI is also saying there should be some decent growth in May, uh, as, as noted by that. So good heading into winter for boys up in, in the Waikato farm anyway. Fonterra's consultation about capital structures happening at the moment, this came to the market. Uh, Wednesday morning, a uh, big talk about it yesterday and, and the, sh the funds actually been, uh, trading halts been removed as of this morning. Um, key uh, topics, we're not going to go too deep into this because I don't want to get bogged down in things before the consultations really happened and we know a bit more about what people are saying. But what we do know briefly at the moment is there's a, a discussion around the change in shares to milk solids supply ratio from one to one to one, possibly one to four, and the same on the top side. Discussion around the Fonterra Fund, a key one for Fonterra, and an on, so this is an ongoing discussion at this point in time. So, like I said, we don't want to get too deep in it just yet. It's more bringing it to the attention of the market. So we, you know, it's a pretty big thing going forward. Uh, it's currently signaled that the vote is most likely to take place at the AGM this year. Right, guys, I've got my white coat shirt on. Chiefs rugby at the end of the, uh, this weekend, Super Rugby final. Get involved. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.